Hi everybody, how are you all doing? And how's your interview preparation going? Let me know in the comments below and let's dive into today's problem. So we are given an input string S and we have to reverse the order of the words. So we need to return a string of words in reverse order concatenated by a single space. They're also saying that S may contain a leading or trailing spaces or multiple spaces between two words. The return string should have only one space. We do not have to include the extra spaces. So for example, if input string S is the sky is blue, then the output should be blue is sky the, okay? And the second example, we have some leading spaces and some trailing spaces. In that case, we have to simply return the word world followed by hello without any additional spaces. And the input string three is a good example. This has multiple spaces in between. So when we return the output string, we have to reverse the order. So it's example good A and all of them separated by a single space. Okay, so now let's think of a brute force solution. Words are separated by one or more spaces in the string. So we can look for a space and then simply add the words into a stack and at the end, simply remove the words from the stack and construct a reverse string. Okay, now let's understand this with help of an example. Here is our input string, a good example. Now underscores are indicating the spaces and here we have multiple spaces. So first thing what we're gonna do is look for a space and then find that word and add it to our stack. So here we have a and then we find the next space here. So this is another word. We are gonna add that into our stack and then look for uh, another space which we don't have so at the end whatever is the last word we will simply add it to our stack and now since we are at the end of the string we will construct the output string by popping this element out first so example so that got removed from the string. Then we will add one space and then we will remove another element from the string, sorry, from the stack. And then we will add another space and then we will return that one out. And this will be our output. We will have to do additional logic to account for multiple spaces. Now this logic works, but it's not the most optimized solution. So our approach is still the same. We still want to break the string down into multiple words, but instead of manually searching for the spaces, we're going to use the split string function. So here is our split string function. It takes regular expression as a parameter and it returns the array of strings as an output. Okay. So here is our regular expression for one or more spaces. First, we will declare an array of string. So string array let's call it words equal to s dot split string let's add our regular expression for multiple spaces so with this code we got the input string converted into an array like this now all we need to do is to traverse from the end of the array all the way to zeroth element and construct an output string so let's first declare our output string Call it reverse string. Initialize it to an empty string. Now let's declare our for loop int i equal to words dot length minus one i greater than equal to zero because we're traversing from the last element all the way to zero i minus minus. Okay, so for every word here, we have to bring that into our reverse string. So let's say reverse string equal to reverse string plus words of i. Okay, and then at the end, we also have to add one space between these words. So reverse string equal to reverse string plus one single space. All right, now we want to return the reverse string and we're going to trim it 
just because there is an additional space at the end and with the trim function it will get removed so now let's go ahead and run it our solution is accepted if you found this video helpful give me a thumbs up and if you want to do more lead code problems i have a playlist linked here and if you're interested in learning more about system design concepts i have a playlist linked here make sure to check those out 